Hi guys, welcome to Hi, another team morning. video. I hope you enjoy this one. It's Salia and Isabella. Yeah, and they are going to be talking about God protection in Psalm 3. So I hope you like it. Take care, guys. Have a nice weekend. Bye. Bye, bye. The part that really stood out to me was, um, but you lot are a shield. That means to me, like, God is always there for us through the difficult times and we can look up to him for everything despite how tough a situation may be and that he's always our, our protector basically our shield of hope shield of protection and everything and i don't think i believe that you should never fear anyone because god is in control that like verses like five through to eight um and like thinking about what they mean so in verse five when it says um i can lie down and go to sleep and i'll wake up again because the lord gives me strength i was thinking about how like when we go to sleep it's like a moment where we like want to relax where we at the end of the day we just want to like de-stress we just want to fall asleep and like not need to like worry about anything and god is basically like giving us um like he's allowing us to do that because um he's always there to protect us so we can go to bed without fearing anything and we can relax without like staying up awake worried so. yeah, i think now is the best time to, like put your faith in the lord and i think also for me i think i don't really feel scared and like i think that's kind of um oh, what's the word when it's like kind of subconsciously like you don't, I don't feel scared, but like, that's because the Lord has, is over me anyway. And I, even when you don't realize your Lord, the Lord is over you, I think it's just, um, he is always going to be there for you. Even when Isabella is talking about um, verse five, when I lay down and slept, yeah, I woke up in safety. I think also when you're sleeping, you're like the most vulnerable you could be because you're not aware of your surroundings and for him to be there to protect you, you're the most vulnerable is um i think it's an amazing thing for him to do for you yeah that's true yeah and i was gonna say yeah about i wake up again but the lord sustains me so i feel like even when maybe we sometimes go through like tricky times during this pandemic like some days will obviously feel better than others and some will feel motivated and others will just be like annoyed that we're stuck at home but i think the fact that the lord sustains me so like he almost renews you every day and like it fills you again with like his love and like his strength so then it's like he never leaves you and even when you're low he'll re he'll refill you again so it's like it's not just on your own strength but it's also like resting in god's strength yeah. When, yeah. um it made me realize when isabella said that um the god protects us when we sleep and we like we wake up the next day like it made me realize that honestly we don't know what can happen to us like me and my dad today we were talking about um Cameron Boyce who died when he was sleeping and he was really young and he he probably didn't know that was going to happen to him so honestly like realizing that we wake up to another day is honestly just like mm -hmm. a blessing from God that we're able to just have another day of life and just reading this makes you just realize how blessed we are to just have God in our lives yeah. So I feel like right now it's just good to make the most of it because you don't know what can happen, you know? Mm. 